Brandon, you started out with uh, decent exit velocity for a 40 year old 73 mile an hour average, but look at your swing. The stride, the rotation are decent and the extension, but it's all at an up angle. You ride over the top of a lot of balls. Too much of a lift on the on the uppercut is very common, the better the body angle and rotation is sometimes there's a tendency to swing up too much. You ride over a lot of those balls like a tennis topspin and uh, even though you hit some of them hard, I'd rather actually hit the top of the ball and hit a ground ball than be cleaving down underneath and hit a uh, you know, pop up, there you hit it off the end cap. But uh, certainly uh, we needed to level that off and get your point of contact back farther. Here's what it looked like uh, afterwards. You got a little bit better weight transfer, leveled it off, and you got that plane of the knob and the drive and the cut through. Look at that, just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, your, your stab was sooner, you got the left wrist to drive inside and down a little bit so the bat would flip over the top with some over snaps and good snap. And an increase of five miles an hour, which converts to uh, uh, 40 feet of distance and just better line to line gap power. Again, great job with the snap. The lead wrist, if it doesn't crank inside and down, you're going to continue to drag up following the body's rotation. So you almost have to swing down across the body sometimes, that feeling of swinging down just to get to level. So it was a phenomenal job. You watch on the lag trainer here, you want to pull it way up in the air. That's a tendency in the muscle memory. We can't erase the muscle memory in one camp, but using the swing simulator here, watch again how we got you pretty to level right away. But at the very end, you wanted to lift it. There's that tendency to want to lift it. So what we typically do, we'll put you at a three quarters angle with it for over snap, and then you flip it over. And our body chased it down a little bit, but you got that feeling. And then using one of our best tools, the ball and the rope, watch how your wrist guide, the lag guides, the body rotation still back, but it's a much more level plane. Just absolutely phenomenal, man. Uh, the lead wrist has to guide. You're pulling with that rotation and the lead wrist has to turn inside and down so the bat comes in the opposite direction. If you get right along that plane of the pitch like you are there, that ball will slip right along the rope. Using a guide rope or a ball on the rope, the evil ball on the rope is just phenomenal. On the GT with the evil ball, the first swings you want it to still come up a little bit. That's pretty much flush in the center and you're looking to be a line drive player gap to gap. We worked of course on placement here but there you're up over the top a little bit. Too much is a ground ball so we lowered the T trying to show you that you can actually drive the hands down and when the snap comes you can get a good line drive without trying to golf and look at that. Using the back step as you saw there, that's one of the other things we worked on, a back step to go backside. But look at the knob, cranks down into the inside, the back comes through, just a great job off the tee. Now we wanted to cut a little bit thinner to try to get a little bit more level to get longer balls. Right there you proved you could aim at the top, middle or bottom of the ball it's just by changing the angle that you drove and swung at. That created a lot of underspin and that was a long ball. Now here we got you on a thigh high pitch which is really hard to go at. Most people golf it. Watch the knob there. Gets on a plane towards the ball and then the wrist turns to guide the lead wrist as you pull snap and the bat head whips around in the opposite direction. Just a really great job. Bracelet drill. Again, working to get that level and, a, and just a phenomenal job. First swings here. Live again, a little bit better weight transfer, a little bit better coming ahead. <clears throat> just a really nice job of getting on a level plane. Looking to cut the ball, just the mental focus of cutting the ball and driving it versus lifting it uh, helps with it, but also working those drills, working those that equipment helps you get to a good level plane. Hey, get... Nice shot. Nice, 79. See, you aren't lifting it now. Stab and drive that knob down. Nice. Beautiful swing, 81. Look at that. Nice, Take nice that all day long. Through. I like that. Nice. You see that? You see how you didn't, hey, you see you didn't try to lift it? You drove it and you felt it snap through. Beautiful. Nice round. Ba boom, just say ba boom. Nice. Beautiful, look at that. That was 80. What do you guys think of the Di Marini bats? Ah, I love it. That it's one is good. awesome. I never hit with a Di Marini before or any composite bat, but I like that one. And good what were you hitting I the home get, runs with? I can feel it. I was we hitting the home run with uh, this balanced Di Marini. And the Nautilai, sure. the white one? Nautilai, yes. Yeah. It's pretty smooth and uh, I like it. I like it. 
And you were hitting some shots. You were hitting into the mid 80s. Is this what you're using for yeah, that? I, I was also. Also using the Nautilus. What'd you hit 95 yeah. mile an hour with? Uh, the Hyper Z and the uh, the one that. Yeah, yeah, we did. We did. We did. We did. The Nautilus and the Hyper like Z. Yeah. Very nice. Well, what were you swinging over there, Paul? Most I, was, I was swinging the Nautilus too. So the Nautilus, pretty much the Nautilus is a hands down winner. This is the balanced version. This is a U trip bat, but they also make a uh, M loaded version of it. But there is a little bit of a for a balanced bat. This got a little bit of an envelope feel, doesn't it? So. But I'm all jazz, guys. Just bring it in. Thank you much. Thank, thank, thank you, Dave. Thank what a you. good job thank pitching. Okay. Of course, Mike Dill always looks different than a shirts and logo shirt than us normal mortal men. But uh, talk about your long history going back with those guys. Uh, I've been with shirts and logos back from the days I was with Line Drive. They make great products. Customer service was top, just uh, top notch, and fantastic people to work with. And it's nice to see that they, you know, they can make a cut that fits a muscular guy like yourself versus a doughboy like uh, Jason. <laughs> they make a slimming uh, shirt for every softball guy. Every guy can look good in these shirts. They've been the leaders in sub die going back a long ways. Uh, what do you guys like about the quality and what do you like about the turnaround that they have on the shirts? Well, first of all, in the uniform business, their turnaround time is second to none. Uh, professional. Uh, the art is fantastic as well. And... You never have a problem with the quality of the shirts. A lot of manufacturers, seams come apart, things like that, but I have never had a problem with their shirts and or pants, and I've been with them for over 10 years. You got Joe and the gang, they got a great design. Do you guys uh, you know, typically put in a design, let them finish it off? How does that process work? I'm not a super creative guy like that. I kind of tell them or email them, hey, this is what I'm looking for, and then they just make magic from there. They're really good at it. So I appreciate Mike talking a little bit about shirts and logos, but do you have a minute to work with my swing? Just for a second, because I know that you are a Mike and pro, and you do spend a lot of time helping the campers here at Senior Softball Camp. Sure. Okay. You look like you're holding a lacrosse stick right now. Hoagie. Is this slow pitch? I, I, don't think, I don't think that's a, you know, can you give him something more nurturing, something to help him out? Uh, He's right. You put your hands together. All right, here, why don't I stand like this and you help me? It's a, I, I, Bill, I think it's still a little, little bit of work. A little that, bit of, it, it, that was better. That was it, much better. It's like taking a gemstone and just putting the final touches on it rather than, you know. He, um, you know he's getting better.